Around this time last year, I made a video about my New Year's resolutions, which was basically a list of projects I had started but progress had stalled and I wanted to finish them. Well, today, I cannot find the video. Anyways, you'll find out how those turned out. So the projects were, first of all, a embroidered casket, which I actually made decent progress on. I have done a bunch of sampling, and if everyone gets their shit together and stops spitting viruses into each other's open mouths, I'll be able to go to Oxford next summer to meet up with my tutors and the other ladies who make caskets, at which point things really should come together. Oh, and the central motif for the casket lid is finished. Very excited. Next up was an embroidered apron based on an extant historic piece. Nothing happened I didn't touch it all year. Also a dress based on a V&A pattern. Nothing happened I didn't touch it all year. The last project... <laughs> the last project I had planned for this year was a patchwork blanket that I have been working on for at least 10 years. Well, I started it 10 years ago and very occasionally pulled it out and added a few pieces to it. By October, I was about two-thirds, three-quarters done, and I decided this was going to be the one I wanted to finish. So I'd have at least one thing actually done and off the to-do list. I still had all my bits and bobs packed together. Paper pieces, fabric scraps, needles, threads, scissors. I put them all together in a box when I started the project, when I lived in London. Then I took the box and moved it to Paris, which was kind of a disaster, so I packed it up again and moved home to Munich, where the box sat in a corner only to be moved about once or twice a year when I vacuumed. But this year I finally got going again. First, pasting the fabric scraps around the paper pattern pieces. Paper pattern pieces, wow. Then laying out all the different color blocks until I liked the look, and attaching them to the rest of the blanket. All done by hand. When I started this project I did not own a sewing machine, but if I ever do another patchwork it'll definitely be done on the machine. In early December I was finally done with all the hand stitching, and you can really see how my tastes have shifted over the past decade. Next step was to remove all the paper pattern pieces, and this part was very fun and also took way more time than expected. Just a little tip, keep all the knots on the same side of your pieces. All the searching, turning things over and over again took up a, probably the better part of a week. And then I had a whole bowl of thread ends and paper pieces. The birds will get the thread ends in spring for their nests, and the paper pieces... I'll probably recycle them. I could use them for notepaper for shopping lists, We'll see. Alright, the patchwork top is done now. To make it into an actual blanket, I'll need filling and backing fabric. And because of the panorama, I didn't want to go into a store, and it was just before Christmas, so the postman really had enough to do, so I didn't want to order anything. Anyways, long story short, I went into my modest fabric stash and found this pink thing. I'm not even sure if it's technically filling, but I'll use it for that and making a welcome return to this channel for probably the fourth or fifth time, the grey check, which I will use for backing. Neither of these pieces actually fit. The filling was a bit short, so one end of the blanket doesn't have filling for about 10 centimeters, but I decided to just ignore that. The grey was a little narrow, so I added a strip on one side. Then I laid it out with the top and filling flush at the edges and the backing an extra couple of centimeters all around. Mm -hmm. 
Then I used my machine and goodness do I appreciate my machine all the more after doing all that hand stitching. So I ran a line of stitches where the first row of patchwork meets the second to kind of hide those stitches in the seam. And I found a paper I had missed and for a moment I considered just leaving it, but in the end I decided to undo some pins and take it out. I thought I had checked at least five times that I had gotten all the paper out, but I guess the sixth time would have been the charm. So at this point the blanket is a blanket, <laughs> now to deal with the edge. I folded the backing fabric between the filling and the top and ran another line of stitches about half a centimeter from the edge to finish it all off. And I was so excited to be done I forgot to film any of it. But the blanket is done. I'm so in love with it and I've carried it around for the last couple of days everywhere I went like I'm Linus from the Peanuts. For my New Year's resolution for 2022 I'll carry over the ones from this year. Place your bets now which one project I'll finish next year. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video why not subscribe?